my dear lions my dear neat warriors there is a breaking uh, news which has come up and uh, this is with regards to your neat 2024 examination the scam or the so called inflation which happened and so many so many nuances so let's get straight to the point nt has filed an affidavit in the supreme court now i'll break it down to you in this very quick video without any rumors straight to the facts and that's what vedantu neat english stands for and if you believe that we give quality content and we give straight to the point news make sure that you are subscribed to the vedantu neat english channel and also do not forget to like this video so that others to become aware of it because that's the way youtube algorithm works okay it's for your benefit not for my benefit all right so let's understand what exactly has happened So Manish Pratim Gohain, who is basically a very popular news reporter, in fact, on his Twitter handle, uh, has just told just a couple of hours back uh, regarding you know the affidavit which was filed by NTA in the Supreme Court. Now, if you remember, in the previous hearing on eighth of July, because there was a lot of case for the renewed, so Supreme Court. the chief justice of india asked that okay i will give you time i'll give you 2 3 days and you file a report not more than 10 pages by 5 pm 10th july and that's exactly what has happened and that is what exactly nta has done so what exactly is there in this report we'll go in detail and what do they mean what is the uh, repercussion of this and does it mean that something uh, con uh, conclusive is happening will come to that point now in this particular report basically they say that the distribution follows a bell shaped curve which is uh, what is followed in most of the examinations and the analysis was also done and the analysis says that there was no abnormality uh, as to any student getting really high ranks due to malpractices or certain centers been given some kind of some preferential treatment also there is no mass mal practice or leakage which happened yes there were localized uh, instances of these mal practices and leakage which happened and yes there was an increase in the uh, you know the you can say the rank inflation which happened the number of students who scored above 550 has drastically increased and they attributed that increase to the reduction of syllabus which has come down by 25% so let's understand what this means now in your school in your college if you talk about how many number of students give the uh, you know how many number of students get a particular set of scores and if you draw that graph with the number of students uh, you know on the y axis and the marks on the horizontal axis the graph roughly follows a bell shaped curve now we all know that a bell looks basically something like this we all know a bell basically looks something like this that's why it is called as a bell shaped graph there are very few students who get very low marks there are very few students who get very high marks most of the students that is why this number is very high get a decently average score that is what should happen now if by chance the bell is shifted like this then it is dangerous why the number of students getting very high marks is very high that means the paper was easy or lot of students somehow became you know very intelligent or there was some kind of leakage in that top category if the bell curve looks like this that means the number of students getting low marks is very high that means either the paper was very tough or the students were not so smart or maybe some other reason some timing issue etc happened that's why the bell curve has shifted this way so usually the bell should be shifted uh, neither to the right nor to the left it should be towards the center so now let's have a look at how exactly the bell looks in the graph that they have plotted so you can see this is the high range marks this is the low range marks the bell is pretty much towards the lower side only it's not gone too much on the higher side so they are saying that there is no abnormality now if you remember the chief justice of india on 8th of july categorically said that 
we want a data driven approach you take the help of it personnel or mathematicians or data analyst and you do a proper analysis and see if the data tells not human data tells that there are some uh, you know scams or some malpractices which have happened on a large scale see if 5 10 students have cheated that won't be shown but if thousands of students have cheated leakage has happened on a mass scale on social media then it will be seen on the data if you compare it with the previous uh, years results and uh, graphs so the marks obtained versus the number of candidates for all the candidates who took the examination the analysis was done by nta for every city and the results uh, followed the same distribution that means this graph remained the same for all the cities it did not change like okay some students said sir some centers were given more preference and you know some students um, probably shifted their centers because leakage happened in those centers but this graph remained very similar in all these cities and this was done by iit madras not even aims not even nmc iit madras so this means that there was no big abnormality or big leakage that's what they are saying okay let's have a look at the next point it also said that there is a, a you know exhaustive elaborate technical evaluation of the data pertaining blah 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 by iit madras using the parameters like marks distribution city wise center rank distribution candidate spread over marks range and the following findings have been given the distribution follows the bell shaped curve now why iit madras see i'll tell you one thing iit's are very well known to conduct the examinations very successfully and not just that they are known to possess very high mathematical and data analysis skills so their engineers and scientists have conducted this research uh, looking at the data so they are saying that there is no large scale examination uh, abnormality as of now okay also this analysis was done in the top ranks not for all the students because obviously the number of government seats are limited and if somebody has cheated they would go into the top ranks so this was done for the top 1.4 lakh ranks only this analysis also indicates that most of the students who got high ranks that is in the top 5 percent due to any malpractices or if students from a particular examiner uh, examination center or city uh, is not shown there is uh, there is no there is no such data to show that any center any city uh, was benefited for any particular set of students to get very high scores the analysis also shows that there is no mass malpractice no localized candidates being benefited that means a certain set of students in a certain center were benefited there is no such mass practice yes there are localized malpractices that's what they are accepting that means few students in bihar few students in haryana few students in gujarat few students here yes there are such students like that definitely but not on a mass scale overall marks of the students who scored above 550 to 720 there is a drastic increase and that is something that they are accepting now why has this increase come there could be multiple reasons they are guessing that this is because of 25 percent reduction in the syllabus it's also true to some extent that imagine if i give you a test on 10 topics versus a test on seven topics there is a good chance when the test is for fewer topics you will score better because you can skip few chapters here and there also we might also argue that number of students taking a drop has increased plus their preparedness has increased students have not become magically intelligent but maybe the competition genuinely increased to some extent but this is what they are attributing it to okay indicating very less likelihood of malpractice also let me remind you that the paper was not very difficult nor was the paper very easy it was just like the previous years plus minus here and there a uh, few questions are there but more or less the number of questions which were difficult or easy was very similar to the previous attempts so if a student is very regular and has practiced many mock tests probably there's a good chance he has scored well that is according to their analysis this is not what i am saying this is what they are saying okay now uh, apart from this what they have also talked about is the telegram video now see this is also very important because there were 
quite a few telegram channels which said that we have leaked the paper and they started scamming students in fact that awareness we also created on our youtube channel they started scamming students saying that we are going to leak the paper for 2025 also uh, most likely that was obviously a false thing it was a hoax basically they were trying to extract money from the students lot of gullible parents and students what they will do is they will pay money thinking that okay we'll get the reneed paper or the need 2025 paper and those scammers will not do anything they're just going to take the money and run away so that is what most of these telegram groups were and do not fall prey to any such groups what they also did in many of these telegram groups is they edited the messages in telegram there is an option where if you type something and you can edit the message even after few months so they said that you know what on may 4th they typed some random message and they edited the message saying hey listen i pasted these copies i pasted these messages back on that day itself so this is what uh, nda is saying that the comments discussions on the social media especially the telegram video they were all edited to display the timestamps uh, you know on that particular day they were all edited they were manipulated to create a false sense of an early leak furthermore a neutral third party also posted a video on how on how you can edit and show may 4th instead of the actual date the video is available on this particular link to show how easy it is to manipulate the date on the original Im uh, on digital images further discrediting the petitioner's claim the petitioner here refers to the people saying that we want reneed so they are discrediting them that means they are proving them false saying that you know what those telegram videos are probably fake unless the, you find some telegram channel where there are no edited messages etc by the way on telegram if you edit a message that edit timestamp also comes if you have noticed very very clearly okay so what next obviously time will only tell in the next couple of hours so we just have to wait for the 11 july hearing but if you remember supreme court had asked for the report to be filed by 10 july that has happened reneed will be the last resort that's what not what i am telling that's what supreme court told but yes there is a chance of reneed and that chance will be there only if they are able to prove that a mass leakage has happened and this was not localized to few centers but on a major level on social media and that too even if it happened day before if it happened on digital media then they are ready to conduct a retest the case of the small leak seems very unlikely okay unless proved otherwise which is going to happen tomorrow we'll find it out counseling will start by third week of july remember the counseling was supposed to start on 6 july and they have taken their time because i think they were waiting for the supreme court hearing and plus probably they were loading the data or whatever but they are going to start it by third week of july so be prepared for counseling on the other side also please remember 11th july hearing may not be the last hearing a lot of students and youtubers are saying that it is a verdict see understand it's not a verdict verdict is where the final conclusion comes this is a hearing so they are going to hear both the sides probably it might take one more hearing two more hearings you don't know cbi might uh, say something cbi has not even submitted its report in fact they ask for the timeline of when cbi will uh, come to a conclusion also remember dr k radhakrishnan's committee also has to submit a report on how to stop all these practices so so many things are involved over here so the final judgment might take a lot of time so bear that in mind okay so we just have to wait there is no other option me saying sir you please tell me whether reneed will happen or not happen guys i don't have a crystal ball if i say reneed will happen i might be wrong if i say reneed will not happen that is also wrong because we really have to wait for what happens tomorrow in the supreme court and we will be going live but see the most important thing is what i feel bad about all these things is students are suffering for the last two months students are in a very utterly confused state parents are getting frustrated parents are messaging me sir we are not at all happy about this and we as teachers also you know sometimes feel very sad and helpless also there were many fake teachers and fake youtubers who went to the supreme court said that they are fighting for the students but they chuma submitted some affidavit and they have withdrawn also their affidavits some of them just went there without doing anything so understand 
some people are just trying to show that they are with the students some people are just trying to take certain sides because they might get benefited but at the end of the day students are suffering at the end of the day parents are suffering at the end of the day genuine teachers you know ha are just waiting to start their classes in fact we have been also conducting our classes and we are seeing very poor response from your side also because you too are confused but we as a team are dedicated to conduct the classes for need 2025 because there are a lot of students who have already decided to probably take a drop or probably the 12th standard kids who are already pre preparing for the need 25 so if you are one of them continue with the rna batch which is on youtube on our channel and do not forget to like as well as subscribe this video and the channel as well because we'll be coming up tomorrow live with the latest updates on whatever the proceedings are in the supreme court okay so that was a very quick update thank you so much and uh, this was Captain Shares going live. Anything else, you please leave it in the comment. I'll be reading all your comments. Bye-bye. Take care. Hasta la vista. Good night.